Horvath clock is one of the biggest discoveries in the aging field of all time. Um, Steve came at this question of aging separate from me, but we've come to the same conclusion. Now, what Steve discovered, and, and some other scientists, but he gets, the, gets to name it, the Horvath clock, what it is, it's, it's chemical changes that occur on the DNA called methylation. And these methylation marks, normally what they do is they tell a cell what, they sh what a cell should do. So if, if you've got a certain number of methylation marks, you'll be a nerve cell, and if you have different ones, you'll be a skin cell. We call this the epi ep epigenetic marks. And without them, cells lose their identity, they become dysfunctional, and eventually they even senesce, meaning they stop dividing and sit around in the body and cause inflammation. Now, what Steve discovered was that if you use machine learning and look at the various marks that change with age in a human or in a mouse or even in a, in a, a bat, he sees that there are certain marks that change and certain ones that don't. And he can take a blood sample from, from anyone. I mean, he could take your blood if he hasn't already, and he could tell you when you're going to die within pretty, you know, within par certain parameters, a few years. And what's interesting about that is you can actually change the trajectory of that aging. You can be healthy. You can take uh, supplements that we think can slow it down, um, maybe even some hormone treatments that may reverse it. Um, and we're working in my lab on ways to truly reset that clock and go back in time. But the Horvath clock is the first time that we can have a tool that unambiguously tells us if something is either slowing or accelerating the aging process.